See the big airplane? Yes, this one is maybe ours. That one is ours. Yeah. The last time he saw us, we had gone on the long flight home to Australia after a nearly five month stay in Germany. We enjoyed being back home. Soon it would be summer in Australia and for once we finally did have a whole year of no winter whatsoever. October and November had come and gone and Christmas time was about to start. The lead up to Christmas was really nice this year because Izzy just got it and even little Clara had more of an idea of what was going on. And here is a little extra for you guys. If you speak German and are interested in videos of that whole time, I'll link my German channel in the description box below and you can go and check it out. As I said though, being back home was a nice feeling. Just the sheer amount of space, beautiful nature, the ocean, the colors and an easy lifestyle had finally convinced us that this is where we wanted to be as a family. <laughs> Luckily my dad has to travel back just as much as I do. So on one of our last days in Germany back in September, he'd already booked a trip to come visit us in Australia end of February to mid-March. Which also meant he would be here for Clara's second birthday. having a little swing and Izzy and I we're going to do a little bit of homeschooling now. We are starting, we're learning to read at the moment with this wonderful little book. Teach your child to read a 100 easy lessons. It's fantastic. Izzy's having a lot of fun doing it and she is actually already reading. Um, today we're learning a new letter and we'll see how things go. Um, what word? Um. Again? No, no, no. What, what sounds? Fun. No. Look at the sounds. Fat. Yeah? Fat. Yeah. As a reward, Izzy usually gets one of these stickers and when you rub them, they have a little bit of a smell. And then we've got a little sticker chart that she can put them on. Gee, gorgeous girls. Do you want to show Opa and Isabella? Here she comes. Oh, fine. <laughs> Girls, where are we going now? To the beach. Are you having a nice birthday? Days. She's only just getting better, so we had to cancel her birthday party, unfortunately. But with a bit of distance to other people, by the beach is fine. Can you get your 
little present there. Eh? What's in there, little Clara? Go and have a look. It's a little bow. And what's going with the bow? Oh! What is it? A little box violin. <laughs> Is that Clara's violin? You want to draw the box violin? Oh look, she's trying to. Here like this. Yeah. And your hand comes under here. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah! Here we go. <laughs> Yay! Is that Clara's violin? Ooh. Not quite Clara, not quite. You have to put the hand under. Is you tell us what are you gonna do for, for Clara now? Play a song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Careful, Clara. Why are you wearing a hat? Because all too big. And proper bakers wear hats, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Brush it on the cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Clara. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Yeah, another one? Oh, what? Close, once more. Whoa. Good job! Yeah. Look, we've got a crime scene of a two-year-old. There's another one of Clara. I like this. Yeah, me too, because she does lie like this. It's got action in it. Yeah. My dad and I made it out for a little beach walk, just the two of us. It's a beautiful day. We get to go along this beach here. I've never been this far down the beach because usually the tide is in. But today, we um, got really lucky. The beach was so wide. And now we get to explore amongst all these little nooks and crannies. And it's really cool. So offshore, playful and free. Without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl. Sundays, Mama set the pace. Daydream. 